In this tutorial, we learn how to find the equation of a parabola using root factoring. This is our second tutorial on root factoring, and the scenario that we're looking at in this tutorial is the following. We're given a parabola which cuts the x-axis in two points, and the x-values at which the parabola cuts the x-axis are known. And we know the coordinates of one other point through which the curve passes, which isn't the y-intercept. So let's go right ahead and see how to use root factoring to find this parabola's equation. I'll start by moving it to the right hand side here, like so. Now we know that this is a parabola and therefore it must have an equation that can be written y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. But since this parabola cuts the x-axis in two points with x values one and three, the theory behind root factoring allows us to state that this parabola's equation can be rewritten in the following way. y equals to a times x minus 1 times x minus 3, where 1 and 3 are the values of x at which this parabola cuts the x-axis. Now that we've written that, all we need to do to find this parabola's equation is find the value of this coefficient a. And to do that, all we need are the coordinates of one other point through which the curve passes. In this case, we're given the other point. Its coordinates are 4, 3. The fact that this parabola passes through this point with coordinates 4, 3 allows us to state the following. When x equals to 4, y must equal to 3. So to find the coefficient a, we replace the two x values we have by 4, and we replace y by 3. That leads to 3 equals to a times 4 minus 1 times 4 minus 3. That's 3 equals to a times 3 times 1. That's 3 equals to a times 3. Dividing both sides of this equation by 3 leads to 3 over 3 equals to a. In other words, 1 equals to a, or simply a equals to 1. And we now know the value of the coefficient a. So combining this result with the factored equation we have here, we can state that this parabola's equation can be written y equals to 1 times x minus 1 times x minus 3. Now it is worth pointing out that when the coefficient a is equal to 1, we don't bother writing it, so I'll go ahead and erase that now. And we can state that this is the root factored form of this parabola's equation. In an exam or a test, we may be asked to find this parabola's equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. If that's the case, all we need to do here is open up these parentheses. That would look something like this. We can state that this is equal to x squared minus 3x minus x plus 3. And simplifying this, we find this parabola's equation, which is y equals to x squared minus 4x plus 3. And that's the final answer. We've just found this parabola's equation using root factoring. Okay, we're going to look at another example, but before doing so, let's just quickly spend one or two minutes to summarize the rules that we're using here. Let's say we have a generic xy grid, something looking like this and that we have a parabola with two x-intercepts. So that would look something like this. And say the x-values at which the parabola cuts the x-axis are p and q. Now we know that because this is a parabola, it must have an equation y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. But since this parabola cuts the x-axis in two points, and the x values at which it cuts the x axis are p and q, the theory behind root factoring allows us to state that this parabola's equation can be rewritten in the form y equals to a times x minus p 
times x minus q. And this will always be true so long as the parabola cuts the x-axis at two points. The value of the coefficient a is found using the coordinates of another point along the curve's length. And that can be any point on the curve. Okay, now that we've reminded ourselves of the rule, let's look at another example. Here we have another parabola. And we can see that it cuts the x-axis in two points. And the x values at which it cuts the x-axis are 1 and 4. We can also see that we're given the coordinates of another point through which the parabola passes. So, to find this parabola's equation, we can use the method we've just learned with root factoring. Let me start by moving this parabola to the side, like so, and now we can get started. Since this is a parabola, we know that its equation can be written y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. But since this parabola cuts the x-axis in two points, with x values 1 and 4, the theory behind root factoring allows us to state that this parabola's equation can be rewritten in the following form. y equals to a times x minus 1 times x minus 4. All we need to do now is find the value of the coefficient a. And to do that, we use the fact that this curve passes through the point with coordinates 5, negative 8. The fact that the curve passes through this point allows us to state that when x equals to 5, y must equal to negative 8. And so to find the value of a, we replace the two x's we see inside this equation by 5 and the y we see by negative 8. And that looks like follows. That's negative 8 equals to a times 5 minus 1 times 5 minus 4. That's negative 8 equals to a times 4 times 5 minus 4, which is 1. And that leads us to negative 8 equals to a times 4. Dividing both sides of this equation by 4 leads to negative 8 over 4 equals to a. And since negative 8 divided by 4 equals to negative 2, that's negative 2 equals to a, or simply a equals to negative 2. And we now know the value of the coefficient a. And so combining this result with the factored equation we have at the top here, we can state that this parabola's equation can be written y equals to negative 2 times x minus 1 times x minus 4. And that's the root factored form of this parabola's equation. Now, in an exam or a quiz, we may be asked to find this parabola's equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. If that's the case, all we need to do is open up all of these parentheses in the root factored form. That would look like this. We can state that this equals to negative 2 times x squared minus 4x minus x plus. We can state, we can go ahead and say that this equals to negative 2 times x squared minus 4x minus x plus 4. That's equal to negative 2 times x squared minus 5x plus 4. Finally, distributing this negative 2 across the parentheses, we find this parabola's equation to be y equals to negative 2x squared plus 10x minus 8. And that's the final answer. And that's how we can find the equation of a parabola that cuts the x-axis in two points using root factoring. In our next tutorial, we'll see how to use root factoring to find the equation of a parabola that only touches the x-axis in one point. For now, though, that's it for this tutorial.